Hey guys, it's Kaz here, aka Cats and Camera, and today I'm doing a video about every single book I own that has LGBTQIA plus characters in it. So this is going to be a super long video, but I'm just going to throw out a bit of information now. So first of all, this is every single book I own, so some of these I've not read, some of them I didn't particularly enjoy, but I'm going to talk about all of them, because you might enjoy them or love them or whatever. So because there are so many, I'm going to be super quick about this, but I have created a Google spreadsheet, I'll leave down below, where I've listed all of the books in alphabetical order and I've given information about whether it's own voices, trigger warnings, other diversity, stuff like that, and I've linked all of the Goodreads pages to the books, so check that out, I did put a lot of effort into it, so. Also, if I remember, I think I might just keep updating that, so whenever I get more books I might just put it on that spreadsheet, so if you're watching this video later on and you go there, there's probably going to be more than what I say in this video. And last but not least, this is not in any particular order, I'm just going to grab them off my shelves and do it, otherwise this is going to take me a year to film. An obvious one, The Shadowhunter, Chronicles, The Mortal Instruments, The Infernal Devices and The Dark Artifices all have different LGBT characters in. And you know what these are about. The author of the game series, main character is demisexual and we have side characters that are gay and lesbian. This series is awesome, check it out. It's a sports contemporary, let's just say, with crime. The Raven Cycle, gay, bisexual, looking for a dead Welsh king with magic. Getting it, this is pretty much Queer Eye for the Straight Guy in book form. The Nowhere Girls, feminist literature about rape culture with a lesbian character. And a trans character, kind of, off into the side. The Bathfields of Ordinary, a contemporary about a gay character. A closet gay character who is not enjoying that fact. And a new boy. Openly straight duology about labels and whether people should fit into them labels. Gay, bisexual, like who you like. Getting a boarding school with a healthy dose of football. Thinking straight about a guy that gets sent to one of those gay conversion camps. Pretty heavy towards the end. Sub Crows duology, fantasy, heist, with some boy characters that like each other without needing to define sexuality or it being a big deal. Grasshopper jungle. Massive mantises taking over the world, eating and shagging everything. With our main character having a girlfriend but also having feelings for his best friend who's gay. Winger duology, contemporary set in school with gay characters, different ones in each book. And rugby. A Court of Wings and Ruin, fairies with lesbian, gay, bisexual side characters that people have mixed feelings about. Stick about two boys from a really abusive family. A main character has an ear missing and his brother is gay. Definitely one to check out the trigger warnings on my Google Docs. Passenger, this is the second in the Marbury Lens duology. Dystopian, weird future world where everybody kills each other. And towards the end, some gay characters are revealed. Don't know Jack, undercover spy kind of situation, but falling in love with the person that he's spying on. Supermassive, contemporary, set in Norway, coming to terms with death but also sexuality in a gay way. Elephant Shoe, family tragedy turns into moving away, turns into moving back and trying to figure out what's going on in a gay way. Also disability rep, but I'm not going to tell you what. The Red Sheet, a bully wakes up and becomes a nice person who is attracted to the person that they used to bully. Tales from Foster High, contemporary set in school about discovering your sexuality and coming of age. The Boys on the Rock, historical fiction about discovering your sexuality in a gay way, I'm saying that so often. Just Between Us, contemporary about two teenagers falling for each other, one has HIV and it's a modern look at that. Dumb Jock, social outcast, tutoring a dumb jock and then gayness ensues. Was three contemporary set in school with a polyamorous gay relationship. The Book of Ethan, white kid from a religious cult background, falls for a black kid who he has been taught is evil because black. Going the distance, contemporary basketball gayness. My most excellent year, told in alternating perspectives, and one of the characters is coming to terms with being gay. Totally Joe, middle grade, where our main character is gay, and it's told as each chapter is a different letter of the alphabet. Golden Boy, about an intersex main character. The World of Normal Boys duology. First one at 13, coming to terms with life and love and family. 
And then again at 20 year old. Desert Sun's duology, contemporary about two characters falling in love, I guess. Peter, a character who falls in love with his older brother's best friend. And there's photography and cars. And not a love story. Dream Boy, a boy from an abusive family, falls in love with his neighbour. Again, definitely check the trigger warnings for this one. Really heavy, really bad. Forgive me, Leonard Peacock, a guy decides that he wants to kill his former best friend and himself. And one of the side characters is gay, which is quite a big part of his bit of the storyline. Sprout, a contemporary about love and life and school, with a main character that's got green hair and is into boys. Becoming a man, non-fiction about the life of a gay man throughout the 50s, 60s and 70s. Highly logical behaviour about a guy who's agoraphobic and the girl and her boyfriend who are trying to help him and he's gay. One of us is lying, a detention, someone dies, someone did it and one of the suspects is gay. Love drugged about a teenager that goes out of a girl as a cover because he's gay and the girl's dad is a pharmacist who's come up with this drug that makes you not gay. So he takes it to see what happens. Brokeback Mountain, gay cowboys. Annabelle, about an intersex character in the 70s and 80s. Cinnamon Toast and the End of the World, gay boy falls in love with his straight best friend, set in the 80s. More Than This, a sci-fi about a boy who drowns then wakes up in his life, but it's not his life, it's weird and different and he doesn't know why. The Screwed Up Life of Charlie II, this is about a teenage boy who talks about jacking off every other page. The rest of us just live here about the people who are not the chosen ones but are still in that same universe and we have diverse characters of different mental healths and sexualities. Boyfriends with girlfriends, two friends groups come together and there's gay, bisexual, lesbian and questioning characters in said friend groups. The Mariposa Club a group of gay best friends at school want to create an LGBT club for themselves with or without you about a couple of guys that join this club, the Chasers and then they realise that it's gay teenagers trying to purposefully get the HIV virus one of them's all for this and the other one is trying to stop him More Happy Than Not, set in a world where you can erase your memories I'll give you the sun told by twins a few years apart and describing why they are not as close as they used to be and one of the twins is gay. Solitaire, this weird organisation or page keeps pranking the school, getting worse and worse and our main character's brother is gay and he has a boyfriend who you should read about in Heartstopper which is a comic and it's awesome and it's online and it's free. Every day about a being that wakes up every day in a different body whether it's male or female or whatever and falls in love, therefore is gender a thing. What's up with Jodie Barton? Kind of middle grady or very young adult. About two twins that fall in love with the same boy. Kiss, a main character falls in love with her best friend, but he likes boys. Naomi and Eli's no kiss list, straight girl, gay boy. They have a list of people they're not allowed to kiss because obviously they're like the same sort of people. Simon versus the homo sapiens agenda, you know, what this is about. A boy who talks to a guy on the internet and then he gets blackmailed about it. Half Bad Trilogy, this is about witches, black and white witches and we have a gay and a bi character. Song of Achilles, Achilles and Patroclus in love and then war and fighting but also still love. The Rainbow Trilogy following three different characters who are all coming to terms with their sexuality and about their loves and lives over a couple of years. Someday this pain will be useful to you. This is set over a couple of days. And it's about a character who is pretty depressed and don't want to go to uni. And is gay, but it's not really a big part of the story. Mysterious Skin, two main characters who are both sexually abused as children. One remembers and is a prostitute, and the other one doesn't remember and thinks he was abducted by aliens. The God Box, the main characters in the closet. A new guy comes to school who is very openly gay and also a Christian and it has a good discussion about religion and sexuality. A Secret Edge, contemporary romance with a lot of track and field sport thrown in as well. So hard to say, middle grade, girl falls for new boy, new boy does not like girls. Flag on the play about a closeted gay footballer who starts a relationship with a bisexual guy. 
St. Augustine about two friends who haven't talked in a year and both of their lives are kind of out of control and there's different stuff happening and they need to learn to talk to each other again. Hero, gay teen superhero. Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe. Contemporary coming of age about two Mexican kids. Bait about a teenager who has anger issues and is sent to therapy to try and figure out why. And there are gay side characters. Call Me By Your Name, a summer romance set in Italy between an Italian teenager and an American writer. The Art of Being Normal, a trans character trying to figure out who she is and express herself. Fear of Ice, a gay teenager trying to come to terms with his mother's death set over a year. Revelations of Jude Connor about religion and sexuality with some disabled characters. Carry on, gay Harry Potter, pretty much. Boy Meets Boy, contemporary romance set in a world where homophobia is just not a thing. Two boys kissing, about two boys trying to break the world record for a kiss and loads of side characters who are gay and trans and told by the chorus of gay men who died of AIDS. They both die at the end. Two boys are told they're gonna die at that day. They meet, become friends, become more and they both die at the end. The evolution of Ethan Poe about a guy who has family problems, coming to terms with sexuality and then gets into a debate about whether intelligent design should be introduced into classrooms. Thanks a lot John Leclerc, gay hockey stuff. Raise It Up, set in the Cold War about a guy who is gay, has an abusive dad and a brother who something's not quite right. Release, told over one day about a guy who's dealing with shit at work, shit in his religious family, shit with his boyfriend, shit with his ex. And then a weird ghost woman. Two songs about a 14 year old gay musical prodigy who has a poltergeist friend. Good Blue, set in Norway, about an American kid who goes to work on his Norwegian grandparents' farm and falls in love with one of the other farmhands. We are the ants. If aliens told you the world was going to end, would you press the button to stop it? At Swim Two Boys, in 1916 Ireland, a boy's teaching another boy how to swim. And about class divide and war and stuff. Maurice, historical gay love written in 1914. The Broken Earth Trilogy, a fantasy series with loads of different diverse characters. The Five Stages of Andrew Brawley, a guy staying in a hospital meets this other guy who is a Burns victim and he's drawn to him. The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue, a historical trip across Europe with pirates and crazy stuff and bisexualness. Educating Simon, an English gay teen is moved to America, he teaches a trans 11 year old, his stepsister is autistic and there's just lots of diversity and stuff in here. The perks of being a wallflower, contemporary coming of age, we're the gay side character. How they met and other stories, a book of short stories about how people met and because David Leverton there's a lot of gay in here. Barracuda about an Australian swimmer who wants to swim in the Olympics, draw the line a gay comic artist witnesses a hate crime and because no one listens to it he draws it. What they always tell us, alternating chapters from two brothers, one of them dealing with university, the other one dealing with depression and sexuality and there's a romance in here between the younger brother and his older brother's best friend. Will Grayson, Will Grayson, two guys meet who have the same name, one of them's gay and the other one has a gay friend. The Colour Purple, a historical book about a black lesbian woman. Autobiography, Gay Mormons. A Strong and Sudden Thor, a romance, but it's set in the future where everything's all icy and snowy and there's dragons. Geography Club, contemporary set in high school. The Glass House, contemporary about characters with some issues and trying to accept love and happiness. Out of the Pocket, Gay Footballer. The History of Us, some friends go on a road trip to film a project. Heavyweight, a wrestler coming to terms with sexuality and having an eating disorder. History is all you left me, a boy coming to terms with the death of his ex-boyfriend. The City Trilogy, crimes, gangs, with a little bit of fantasy thrown in, with a lesbian side character. The Heroes of Olympus, Greek and Roman gods, with a gay character revealed later in the series. The Trials of Apollo, bisexual god sent down to earth because gods are petty. 
Magnus Chase, Norse gods with a bunch of diversity in terms of disability, race and sexuality. A little bit Langston, sci-fi about a boy who finds out he has powers and is sent to a government institution type thing and is gay. Mick and Michelle, a trans character dealing with family issues and trans issues and just life. Whatever or how junior year became totally fucked. Contemporary, coming of age, school, life. Radio Silence, contemporary, about a podcast with loads of diverse characters including asexual rep. Freaks and Revelations, based on a true story about a hate crime and then the two people meeting up later on and talking about it. Chew, a comic about a guy who gets psychic impressions from anything he eats, including human flesh, and there are gay and bisexual side characters. Love is Love, a graphic novel full of short stories about LGBT characters, put together after the Pulse nightclub shooting. Deadly Class, a comic series set in the 80s about a school for assassins, and round about volume four, we get some gay characters. Deadpool, everybody knows Deadpool's pansexual, so. The Walking Dead, zombies, and a few gay characters are introduced quite far through the series though. The Wicked and the Divine, every 90 years, 12 gods come down to earth and they stay there for two years. And everybody is just some sort of LGBT in here, I swear. The Runaways, middle grade superheroes, they find out their parents are part of an evil organisation and a few volumes in we get some LGBT characters. Young Avengers, pretty much what it says on the tin, they're Avengers but younger. And straight from the get-go, two of the main characters, boys, are in a relationship and in the second run of Young Avengers we also have bisexual guy, we have a lesbian girl, pretty much most of the characters in here are some sort of LGBT. Nimona, this is about a girl who can shapeshift and she wants to help the evil guy be evil. This one, I guess, if you've got your head buried in the sand, you can say that it isn't 100% definitely LGBT, but like, two guys in here are blatantly gay and it's blatantly obvious. I'm not gonna do all my Kinder books, but I've got a couple that I'm gonna share with you. First up, Leo Loves Aries. This is a contemporary new adult romance between two guys. Spinner, main character is in a wheelchair but has magic powers and one of his best friends is gay and all the other main characters are part of his special ed class. Something like Summer, the first in a contemporary series that spans the space of like 10 years and all the other books in this series are companion novels about different characters that you meet in other books. So there we have it. Those were all the books that I own with LGBT plus characters in them. If you're still here by now then I applaud you and I hope you found at least a few books that you've never heard of and want to check out. Don't forget to check out the spreadsheet below. Like I say, all of the links to the Goodreads pages to all of these books are on there. So that's why I didn't say any of the author's name because it would have made this video twice as long. If this is your first video by me and you enjoy it, then please check out some of my others. And if you continue to enjoy them, then please subscribe. That'd be awesome. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in a few days with another video. Bye.